Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Biology Reader. Today we are going to learn about nitrogen fixation. Why nitrogen fixation is important and the ways of nitrogen fixation with their explanations. So without any delay, let's get started. So friends, let's begin with what nitrogen is and why it is important. As we all know, nitrogen is the most abundant gas present in our environment. Our atmosphere consists of 78% nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is one of the essential mineral nutrients we need and nitrogen is the key component of the bodies of living organisms. Nitrogen atoms are found in all proteins and DNA and all organisms including humans. Plants and other organisms need nitrogen for their daily cellular activities but still we cannot use nitrogen directly. Do you know why? It is because the nitrogen present in environment is present in form of dinitrogen molecules. These dinitrogen molecules have triple bond which makes it act as inert gas. Inert gases are those gases which are stable and are non-reactive. So how do we use it? We can use it by converting it into unstable nitrogen form by the process known as nitrogen fixation. Now, Let's understand what nitrogen fixation is. Nitrogen fixation is the first stage of nitrogen cycle. In this process, the atmospheric non-reactive nitrogen is converted into more reactive nitrogenous compounds such as ammonia, nitrates or nitrites by some specific bacterium or other natural and industrial methods. Now, let's see different ways of nitrogen fixation. There are mainly three ways by which nitrogen fixation happens. Biological nitrogen fixation, atmospheric nitrogen fixation and industrial nitrogen fixation. Let's understand them in detail. Biological nitrogen fixation. In biological nitrogen fixation, atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrogenous compound by living organisms. There are three types of biological nitrogen fixation symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation associative biological nitrogen fixation and non symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation first one is symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation in symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation the association between plants and bacteria is ecological or mutual here the plants provide food to bacteria, in return bacteria fix the nitrogen in the soil. A bacterium called rhizobium helps in nitrogen fixation in leguminous plants. They live in the roots of leguminous plants like pea and beans. Now let's see the process of nitrogen fixation in leguminous plants by rhizobium. The bacteria enters in the epidermal cell of the root. It causes the root to develop an infection threat. Then bacteria reaches in the cortex through the threat and cortex cell divides rapidly and form nodule. Rhizobium also multiplies within the nodule and begins the conversion of nitrogen to ammonia. Now the enzyme nitrogenase present in the nodule needs anaerobic conditions for nitrogen fixation. So when atmospheric air reaches the root nodule Oxygen combines with leg hemoglobin and forms oxyleg hemoglobin and maintains anaerobic conditions favorable for nitrogen fixation. Now let's see how nitrogenase works. Nitrogenase enzyme will bind with nitrogen molecule and three molecules of hydrogen will bind with nitrogen resulting in the formation of ammonia and later an ammonium ion. Ammonium ion will be later utilized by plant. Second one is associative biological nitrogen fixation. Certain bacteria which live in the casual association with cereals and grasses fix nitrogen. They reside in between soil and roots and sometimes enter the roots. Plant utilize fixed oxygen and in turn the carbohydrates released by plants are used by bacteria for nourishment. Some examples of associative symbiosis are azoospirillum in association with cereal roots and Acetobacter in association with roots of tropical grasses. Third one is non-symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation. 
In non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation, the fixation is done by free-living bacteria living in soil. The soil contains so many free-living nitrogen-fixing organisms. These bacteria also act as fertilizers for crops. These include numbers of aerobic, non-aerobic and blue-green algae. Some examples are nostoc, anabena, clostridium, etc. Now, let's discuss about atmospheric nitrogen fixation. The nitrogen present in atmosphere is non-reactive and stable because of presence of triple bond in it. A natural phenomena that helps in nitrogen fixation is lightning. Here, the energy of lightning breaks this stable nitrogen into its reactive form. Later, nitrogen atoms react with oxygen and forms nitrogen oxides. As nitrogen oxides cannot be used by plants, so it reacts with rainwater and forms nitric acid and ammonium ion which are used by plants. Friends, we will end up this video with the explanation of industrial nitrogen fixation. Industrial processes also fix nitrogen. It is a man-made process that uses ammonia for nitrogen fixation. In this process, nitrogen is converted into ammonia by Haber's process. In Haber's process, atmospheric nitrogen gas is mixed with hydrogen in a ratio of 1 ratio 3. Then it is passed through the catalyst hydrogen and iron under 4 beds. The whole process is done by maintaining 400 to 450 degree Celsius temperature and 200 atmospheric pressure. Now, at last, ammonia gas is cooled and collected in liquid form and later it is used to manufacture fertilizers such as urea, ammonium nitrate, etc. So friends, this is all for today. If you find this video useful, do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos.